This morning, we are living healthy this winter season, taking some time out of the holiday madness. Yes, to think about our health during the coldest time of the year, and it certainly is cold today. So here to talk more about neighborhoods efforts as we head into winter are Dr. Christopher Adiano, Neighborhoods Associate Medical Director, and Tracy DeCastro, one of Neighborhoods Nurse, nurse Practitioners. Good morning, Dr. Adiano. Good morning. Nice Thank to you. have you Thank here. You. Tracy, a pleasure. This time of year, everything is heightened. There, we're moving faster. There's more to do. We really need to take care of our health. So let's talk about some of the ways we can do that, starting with you, doctor. These months, we have to take extra good care, don't we? Oh, we do. I mean, you know, first and foremost, at Neighborhood, the mission is very clear and focused. Neighborhood wants to make sure that our members, and Rhode Islanders in general, get the very best health care that they can. And that leads to better outcomes, we know that. <clears throat> so what that means ultimately is that our job often turns to getting, ready to getting rid of any obstacles or barriers to that health care. Because we really want to stay in as best health as possible throughout the entire year. A a absolutely, and one of the primary ways that you can do that is by seeing your physician regularly for an annual checkup. Neighborhood knows that's valuable and we make it a priority. Is it too late for a flu shot or can we still, I mean, is, is, it, never, is it never really too late during the winter? Absolutely not. Uh, to this Mornings, this morning's yeah. weather remind us that, that there is a lot of winter left. Uh, the CDC actually reminds people that you can get a flu shot right through most of the flu season, which, believe it or not, goes all the way to March. Right. So neighborhood makes that a priority. Every one of our members can get a flu shot in their in-network primary care doctor's office, which we want them to see every single year. Very good to know. And Tracy, a lot of people may feel, I'm too sick, I'm too ill to really head out to the doctor's office. So talk a little bit about the Health at Home program. So our main objective is um, increasing access to our high-risk members, and so it's our program is really about um, bringing uh, the the right care to the right setting. Meaning that we bring uh, the nurses and the community health workers into the home for our members. And when you're in the homes of these people, do you find that there are certain needs that are more prevalent than others? Are there, are there certain you know things that are at the top of the list that are you know uh, more uh, you know ubiquitous this time of year? Um, certainly, this time of year, besides the flu, we're seeing um, some depression. Uh, the holiday will often uh, sometimes lead to some sadness, um, and often during the winter months, uh, as the days become darker and uh, shorter, people do get sad this time of year, um, and it can lead to some depression. It really can be a tough time for people. It's really you know heightened at this time of year. You see people doing this or that, so that's something to be aware of, as well as shoveling. If we have those elderly neighbors, doctor, we need to check on them, don't we? We, we do. But I always remind people, make sure that that shoveling job fits your own cardiac and orthopedic abilities. But yeah, the winter time is when we might eat a little more than we typically do with the holidays. We might exercise a little bit less than we typically do. So weight can come on. But neighborhood really emphasizes all of the parts of the healthy wellness puzzle. We want you seeing your primary care doctor and we make that easy. We want you getting your flu shot and we make that easy. And we want you using those good lifestyle choices. It's also very important, Doctor. Thank you so Pleasure. much for joining thank us you very today. Much. Tracy, thank you thank as you. well. If you guys would like to contact Neighborhood Health Plan of Rhode Island for even more information, head to roadshow.com for their contact info.